We apparently have word on what HBO Max's first DC-related film is going to be on the streaming service. And it's apparently going to be based on Rose and Thorn, a lesser-known DC character who is a woman. I think they're going younger in this show, so I guess a girl who has multiple personalities. Um, her regular persona is Rose, but she has a darker persona named Thorn who gets involved in some bad stuff and often winds up having to fight some superheroes. At least in the comics, you know, the Thorn personality has fought a lot of superheroes as a villain, but they've turned her later on. Sometimes she kind of goes good. She's currently showing up right now as one of the characters in the Legion of Superhero series. Um, she found a way, she's like immortal now, and um, she like lives from today and she's alive way in the future when the Legion of Superheroes form and is part of some stuff going on with them. Um, so if you're looking for a more recent current appearance of Rose and Thor in the comics, you should check out that series. Things are about to get prickly as sources tell us that HBO Max is working on its first DC film, Rose and Thorn, for the new streaming service coming in May 2020. Um, the feature film will follow teenage girl Rose Canton, who was just returning to high school after being institutionalized following the death of her father. Rose soon learns that she has a split personality named Thorn, who was determined to find her father's murderers and bring them to justice. While Thorn lashes out with violence and aggressively pursues revenge against her wrongdoers, Rose desperately wants to blend in and experience the normal pitfalls of high school life. Created by Josh Broom and Carmen Infantino, Rose and Thorn made her DC Comics debut in Flash Comics 89 around November 1947. Though from the looks of things, this version of Rose and Thorn will be loosely based on the New 52 run by comic writer Tom Taylor. Rose and Thorn's abilities include, but are not limited to, chlorokinesis, chlorokinesis, enhanced speed, and toxicology. Chlorokinesis is the ability to control, manipulate plants. So maybe this show will be doing some poison ivy action. We already saw a little bit of um, plant control on DC TV streaming when um, Swamp Thing did it um, last year. Um, Swamp Thing was a very good show that was unfortunately canceled. But, um... It looks like we're getting some small screen plant action again with a different character. If she takes off, will she give Poison Ivy a run for her money and popularity? We shall see. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.